Hey, what's going on? Uh, so I'm here in downtown Quito, uh, just kind of taking a walk today. And so, uh, yeah, something happened last night that made me want to record this video. So right now, depending on where you are in Ecuador, it's a good possibility you do not have electricity. So uh, last night I, I got home, uh, well, when I say home, I got to the apartment where I'm staying, and I'm cutting on the lights, nothing's working. So that's when the host of my Airbnb told me, uh, Gavlin, this is the period of time where we don't have any electricity. And I'm thinking to myself, what, you know? At first, I was just thinking it was something with the building. It wasn't until this morning, talking to the taxi driver and some other people that I realized, no, it depends on where you are in Ecuador because of the situation with the lack of rainfall that they've had and some other, some other things government across the entire country there's like certain periods of the day where you will not have electricity supposedly for like three to four hours uh but last night i don't know what the situation was but we didn't have electricity for about two hours last night and i don't know i was at the house this morning for about three hours we didn't have electricity so your boy had to use this telephone with the flashlight uh but yeah you can see over here look the traffic lights, there's no light. So because of that, there's like traffic everywhere more than it normally would be. So I would think, you know what I'm saying, if you're gonna try to reduce the electricity, it'd be one thing to, you know, maybe put restrictions on buildings and houses and things like that, but to make it to where even the traffic lights don't even work, causing extra traffic. There's some streets where you have police officers and there's other streets where there's no police officers. So as you can see, it, it is a complete mess. Just not here, everywhere I've been pretty much today, so. Hola todos, estoy aquí con Juan. Eh, bueno, nos acabamos de conocer. Y él es un ecuatoriano. ¿Usted eres quiteño? Eh, oh, okay. ¿Quién por la ciencia? Ah, ok, sí. ok. Bueno, pregunta Juan, ¿cómo ha sido esta situación actual con respecto a la falta de electricidad aquí en la ciudad para ustedes? Es muy extraño porque a veces no hay mucho uh, lluvia, entonces no hay agua, entonces a través de eso y eh, la energía se ha bajado. Wow, sí. ok. ¿Y por cuántas horas diariamente ustedes tienen ah, que vivir sin luz? Hasta en cinco horas. ¿Cinco horas? Cinco horas, sí. Cada, ¿A, ¿A qué horas? Cada sector desde las 8 hasta las 2 de la tarde y a veces desde las... Uh, las 4 hasta las 7 de la noche, 6 de la noche, así. Wow. Está bastante complicado. Eh, ¿Qué ustedes hacen sin luz? ¿Cómo ustedes cocinan y, y todo eso dentro de la casa? Eh, prender una vila. <risa> eh, ahí con eso y a veces cocinar temprano y comer temprano y salir a dormir. Ah, okay. Eso es lo que es. Ok, sí, ok. Eso bueno. está mucho complicado. Wow. Okay. Bueno, much muchísimas gracias Juan por tu yeah. tiempo. <laughs> que yeah. le vaya bien. Que le vaya bien. Ok, chao. Chao. <laughs> if you're coming to Ecuador, I don't know how long this is going to last. I hadn't had that conversation. But if you're coming to Ecuador, this isn't even 5 o'clock traffic. I don't even know what that's going to look like. So I got to hurry up and get up out of here because I got somewhere to be. And it's probably going to take me an extra 30 minutes. So until the next video, cuídate. Chao.